Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Etzier. I'm the coordinator of the Vanier College Music Department. What you are about to see is a testament not only to musical talent, but to sheer will and determination. It tells how, in the face of all odds and during the most difficult year of its existence, the year of the COVID-19 pandemic, this department was able to put together a year that not only succeeded, but excelled in the delivery of its programs. Students and teachers of the department were able to overcome adversity and social restrictions to put together an inspired year of teaching, learning, and yes, even performing. This is their story. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hi, my name is Dave Watson. I'm one of the teachers in the music department at Vanier College. Uh, I teach a lot of the jazz courses, including jazz history, jazz lit, jazz ear training, and music business. But I'm also an upright bass teacher at Vanier College, and I also teach jazz ensembles. And we're having an interesting year this year because we're coming to the end of a global man pandemic. And it's changed the way that we've had to teach and the way people are learning. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that today. I think the biggest change for me is that you can probably notice that I am not at Vanier College. I'm actually at home in an office. Uh, and so that's been the biggest change is going from teaching in person to online teaching. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of what that would look like from my end. Every teacher enjoys a good cup of coffee. So I always make sure I have a good cup of coffee at home. So this is basically my setup. The other big change is I have a, a USB keyboard. So this uh, keyboard plugs directly into my computer and I'm used to using a real piano at school. So this is uh, a little bit different, but uh, I'm still getting very good sound through the uh, computer and then the students can hear any examples I need to play. And the other big difference too is for, I have a music notation software because certain things I'd write on the board, now I'm having to do digitally so that's been another kind of change which i think has been very good it's a little bit clearer than my own writing it's been a very uh interesting year i think uh i've had to adapt students that adapt but i think it'll be interesting when we're back in person in the future because i think we're going to keep certain aspects of uh being online and that technology and being more accessible in that way so i think it's going to be kind of an exciting future at uh, vanier college <laughs> My name is Caitlin Wong and I play classical piano. This semester, I don't have any classes that are fully in person, but I do have some classes with one or two in person rehearsals, and I have two classes where my midterm and final exams are on campus. I really did miss being able to perform pieces with classmates together because it's nearly impossible to replicate that same environment on a Zoom meeting. Even with the challenges that we face during this pandemic, the music community at Vanier has not changed. Both teachers and students manage to find ways to brighten everyone's day and to support each other during hard times. There are some classes that are just not the same online, however, we do find ways around it and we are always patient, especially when the internet keeps lagging. Uh, my name is Marie Cloris Treichman. I'm currently uh, studying classical voice. Um, I'm finishing my second year of three, so most of my Sejep experience has been online. I would say overall, learning music online has been pretty hard. Um, there's nothing that really equals being with people and playing with people and sharing that experience. So many artists would probably say that that's the most important part of making music, you know, being around others and sharing ideas in real time, you know, at the same time. Hi, my name is Tamara Vickard. I'm the classical voice teacher here at Vanier College. Um, my experience teaching online for the year. It's been interesting, it's been difficult, it's very tiring, 
Um, but it's also still been very rewarding and I think it's because my students are fantastic. Um, they've learned all of the material for the most part on their own. Um, so today is the first day that we're actually seeing them together as a group. And for me, and I know for the students, it is extremely exciting, not just because we get to finally spend some time together and um, make real music together, um, but also because I think that they were going to surprise themselves by how well they've learned the material, um, how musical everything can be, and um, they, I think that they're going to show themselves that they've done a really, really good job this year despite all of the challenges that we've had online. Bonjour, hello, my name is Philippe Bourque and I am a teacher here at Vanier College. I am teaching choral ensembles and I teach as well ear training classes. I've been here at Vanier for the past 11 years and today I would like to share with you my experience as a teacher but especially my experience within the context of a pandemic. When we found out in May 2020 that the coming year, school year, would be fully asynchronous. The conductor in me reacted a little bit, thinking, no, this can't be happening. Certainly certain classes can be online, yes, but not all classes. And music has quite a few classes that need to be face-to-face, -face, especially uh, ensembles. In the Vanier College Choir, we are about uh, 50 singers on average, so it's a large ensemble and I thought we need to find a way to keep the class on site. So what are we going to do? The school is closed, um, we need distanciation, there are certain rules to follow. And then I clicked. We have a beautiful church in Saint Laurent right next to uh, the college. So I thought, oh, maybe this could work. So I went there with health official, with the me measuring tapes. And we started to make plans, seating plan, take measurements, to have two, three, even four meters from each other and scatter around the church. Even though it was very difficult, we could produce concerts and we were recording them, but then actually they were live streamed. And I was very surprised that the Vani community, even retiring parents, friends, um, really showed up for the event. Um, at the end of the semester, we had a great turnout, one of the biggest we've ever had. Students were very proud, even though in the midst of a pandemic, to present live music with distanciation. Uh, but it showed as well that people wanted to encourage Vani. We have a great community and people wanted to be part of it uh, despite the situation. All right, folks. Mm -hmm. I heard it through the grapevine. All right, okay, let's take it on. from the top. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not here. I would like to give a, a special thank you to all the teachers who've tried their best to make this feel like normal, even if it isn't, and to keep us going and to keep us learning in those, you know, the last few months. Truly, an amazing group of individuals, and I am proud to be able to work with them and for them. Special thanks, of course, go to Sharda Bandman for spearheading this initiative and this project and for putting together this video. Thanks also to the teachers and the students who, who graciously agreed to participate. And of course to Vanier College Communications for their support and for their work in the final polishing of this video and getting it ready to send out to everyone. So now, back to work.